నో Mostly everybody know what these do, but some of you might not know, so here is a complete explanation of everything. This is the pressure plate. Pressure plate detects pressure, which means if you are standing on it, it will going to activate it. This is exactly how it is supposed to work, so this is how it works. Next on the list we have the button. Do I really need to explain it? No, but will I explain it? Yes. Here it is. This is how it works. It's just a redstone impulse. not constant activation like a lever and also we have string and tri- trip wire hook along with any kind of block you can put cuz you know you have to put a complete block for a trip wire hook to work at least three block cap is required here you have your system ready now you can power it from the behind or from the side it doesn't matter you can also power it this way or you can simply just put the rest on the side behind the hook that also works actually or you can just directly put the pistons or whatever you are going to post underneath the hooks that is also going to power them which is great because and also I'm not at my home so sorry for poor audio and video qualities now next up on the list we have get rid of all of this put them back up and now we have the next item on our list now it is going to take a while so these are dispensers and droppers these and also these are piston stick pistons let me show you both of those the one so how they these things works so this works by like this so I should away that this one and this one these two are the dropper and dispenser this is dispenser these both have nine slots in them which means you can put nine stacks of items or nine individual items in them and then after that you can simply go and wire it up that's very simple it puts like it can use sort both and other entities where the dropper just drop it as an item where this dispenser do not place block but can place water lava powder snow bucket of fish spawn eggs and other stuff like how it is supposed to work and also put down sugar boxes which is why there's it is used in so kind of noodles this is piston and sticky piston what is the difference you soon find out put them like this now both act similarly let's put a temporary block in front of both of those and now look at this both pushes the block at the same way but now this is the different part the stick piston sticks to the block whereas the regular one do not act the same way it acts differently like this it just pulls the block back and that one just leaves it there so using this sticky piston you can also make some cool stuff such as a double piston extender i can show you side by side with you know always so always into the same here or something Clear side side by side cool. uh, comparison like both of these so double piston extender and regular pistons regular pistons so as you all guys can clearly see here we have these to build the double piston extenders unit i'm just going to make it a few blocks up in the area so that it is easy to make and explain it the way it works so put one observer facing up two pistons facing this way towards you basically now a repeater to text the day like this maybe three ticks you can do and now the block of oh, not this but here and the block now this is a very basic piston extender it is double one now let me put another piston right next to this one just to show you the comparison like the same piston same placement right the both should be the same But look at this. The difference is this. It goes one block extra forward compared to that one. Also, in that location, you need to have a three six zero. 
delay in the other storm that's like a bit delay a lot of delay yes now the connection does work like this two first and forward unlike the regular ones which just go one block forward this goes two block forward which can help out in making three by three rows and four by four rows now so this is added by the boat and which is i just wanted to show you all I don't know who made this exactly, but I found this on the internet a lot of places and especially from both MSP. So yes, this is from his then I guess now. Now so you can clearly see it. it's pretty quick. But pretty decent double piston extender. Let's get rid of this now. I don't know what I was thinking when I was telling you this all it is not even to chess, but I'm just learning new things. So I'm just making it into videos. Yes. Now some new blocks including now there is only one left in the list so let's take off the list with the last one on our list aka stoppers but let me show you a few new things before them this is uh, the stone clock without any repeaters which means it is cheaper but cannot be delayed it can be I don't know oh Come on. This is how it works. To picture this one. This is this. This this goes there. This goes like this and oh. The design is ready. This is really simple. You need an odd number of piston torches to make it work. I think you can add a delay. And look, it works pretty really fine. Flickers the lights also works on pistons. So placing a block will never work because you know it's a regular piston. We don't have a sticky piston on me, right? So it's really basic design. Well, but 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 it's not over yet. Because we have to continue the design a bit more. It's a bit big and okay. It requires the same amount of block, uh, one extra piston torch, and a bit more of dust. But it is pretty decent, decentish, I guess. Plus, it do not need you to smell the stones, which is also a great thing because it is going to take reduce a bit of time because you can use any block in this case. So, now let me show you a little faster clock and a smaller one. It just requires four blocks in a linear position, which is like this straight line. There's two like this. Get rid of this. Now we have one lever in my hand, which is in my hand. Simple. <laughs> Drop it in there. Put it like this and like this. Now you can put any type of output there or just simply put the stone dust there. Doesn't matter. Actually, but like this. Look at this. It works really fine. It's alternating. It's like, oh, this side we activated, then this side. Like this, this, that. In a zigzag motion like thing, if it was able to move in straight action. I don't know how to make a comparator clock. I'm sorry. I don't know how to make a comparator clock. So that's the um, sound set for this video. But oh, this, this, this video is getting worse because I don't know how to make a simple comparator clock. So, so <laughs> I don't know how to make a comparator clock. I know it is supposed to be in subtract mode, but not exactly know how to. Okay, I know it has to do something with the side inputs and all, but not exactly. Oh, I made it. I did it accidentally. That's decent. But it is always activated, which means you can only use it on trapdoors and those. Which is bad for us. Also, you can shoot neglect the background noises. I'm not in my own home. Not my room. I'm literally in the most familiar room. How the hell am I doing this now? It was like 13 days ago. Why? I don't know. We have to. It's like rituals. Now, let me show you a little cool trick. Using this thing. Boom. And this should do the trick. Now, did it work? No, it didn't work because I have put the comparators facing the wrong direction. So, facing like this and this. And now we have your very own dancing armor stand. So this is for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. And bye, guys. See you later. Bye.